Number 53. What is the wavelength of an earthquake that shakes you with a frequency of 10 hertz and gets to another city at 84 kilometers away in 12 seconds? All right, so we have to find the wavelength. They're telling us the frequency, right? So when I know the wavelength and frequency of a wave are related via the speed of it, via this formula, that the velocity of a wave is going to be equal to the wavelength multiplied by the frequency. They're asking me to solve for wavelength, so let's just go ahead and solve that for wavelength right now. So wavelength would be equal to the velocity of the wave divided by the frequency. Now they told us the frequency, that's simple, it's 10 hertz, you know hertz is the appropriate unit, or if they had per second, that's the same thing as a hertz. And I don't know if it's hertz or hertz, is hertz plural? I don't, yeah, doesn't matter. That's why Tudor physics, not English. So uh, basically, uh, here we have um, the uh, frequency value is 10, and now we gotta find the velocity value. Well, can we find the velocity? Sure, right? They told us a distance and they gave us a time. And you know velocity, right, is simply defined as the distance an object covers over the time it covers it. You gotta have consistent units here. So basically we know that the velocity is the distance. We need it in meters, right? They gave it to us in kilometers. Multiply that by 1,000, that's simple. 84,000 divided them by the time in seconds, that's gonna be 12. And now you can calculate the velocity if you like, right? And then you can plug it in or you plug it in before you calculate it, really does not matter. 7,000, great. So the wavelength here is gonna be 7,000 all divided then by the frequency of 10 hertz. So this is simply gonna be 700. And that looks good to me, uh, meters, all right? And that's that. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. See you soon, take care.